As the world's population grows in an exponential rate, demand for energy and resources double at a steady pace. How will we adapt? Rising from the sea, Manila Solar City. The city's largest and most ambitious project boasts of a 148-hectare reclamation project that will change the scape of Manila as we know it. Equipped with the latest technology in renewable and sustainable energy, Manila Solar City stands as the benchmark for future cities in this age of development and progress. In the early 1990s, when the government envisioned this project, it was to complete the plan for the Manila Cavite Coastal Road Project. We want the project to reclaim 148 hectares in the city of Manila. Together with city government, we finally came up with a plan to make this a new central business district for Manila because there were no more land available in the existing Manila boundaries. Since day one, uh, as you all know, I have mentioned that uh, I will not sign any more uh, reclamation uh, in the city of Manila because there is already enough. And if I remember it right, I was uh, there uh, during the course of public hearing about uh, 10 years ago. So true to our word, it's been uh, a year and three months now na wala kaming pinipirmahan na bagong reclamation. I think itong tatlo, apat na nakasalang and isa sa pinakamaganda ron yung uh, solar city. We thought of coming up with a totally green city and we came up with a project that is very disaster resilient. When we look at the problems in the city, the traffic, the flooding, the waste problem, we thought we had to come up with a very unique and very advanced concept for the Manila Solar City. From there, we went all over the world to look at new developments in other countries. That's why we have a reclamation contractor that is number one in the world. They're based in Belgium. This company, Jan de Nul, is known for all the major reclamation projects in the world. For example, the Hong Kong airport, the Palm Islands in the Middle East, and so many other projects. And uh, finally came up with a plan that would be not only sustainable, but also to make the new city within the city a model for all other developments in the future. It can be an opportunity for the city of Manila and people of Manila to be a business district because it will generate uh, about 200,000 uh, population pag natapos yung uh, existing uh, uh, contracts with private sectors. Now we will show them what urban aquaculture farming is all about. Instead of planting ornamental trees, we're going to plant all edible plants. All your trees will be fruit trees, vegetables, and flowers that are needed in the compound. So you have materials from the waste that you can recycle. So you don't need to bring all these waste materials outside the Manila Solar City and use reused water that comes from nature like rain. How to recycle all this water how to harness wind, solar, biomass into energy for the project itself. We require all buildings to have two pipes, right? One with gray water for your toilet, and the other would be for potable water. So this way, we can recycle the water. Then, of course, the power supply, right? Well, this is a good chance to set up all the buildings that can collect solar power. And also, we will be harnessing the wind because we are right at the sea. So we have constant breeze, constant wind. And with the tilted buildings or the elevated buildings, the ground level is all open. So you have constant wind corridor that cools the whole area. So we require less air conditioning, less cooling system. And of course, the most important is the people mover. We have a different level of people mover so that they don't obstruct any of the traffic on the ground level. This way, you have free traffic flow on the ground level and you have a free pedestrian flow on a higher level. And so all of these features are part of what we envision uh, to be in the Manila Solar City. Now we're really trying to move heaven and earth 
uh, na maging mapayapa, maaliwalas, at panatag ang uh, lungsod ng Maynila. Solar City, a city within the city, where the sun illuminating the development via Manila Bay.